Hi, okay, so you've now got your WordPress blog installed on your domain. The next thing we're gonna do is have a look through the basic setup of WordPress, okay? So what you need to do is log in to your WordPress back end of the system. Um, you can either click on that link there or you can right click and say open a new tab so you've still got this open. Uh, I've already opened it so I'm gonna go straight across to there and log in. Uh, be very careful with your username. If you typed in any capitals, it is case sensitive. So if you can't log in, it may well be that you've got a capital A for admin or something like that, okay? So make sure you know what that is. I'd actually recommend having a, a little text file where you record your login details, your passwords, both for your cPanel hosting and for your blog itself, and other bits and pieces such as your WordPress API, which we'll come to in a later video. Okay, so I'm just gonna click on login and we get straight into the back area of WordPress. Now, we're not gonna do everything in here. We're just gonna run through the basic things that you need to do to get WordPress to the standard that it should be for starting off, okay? Okay, so the first thing we need to do is clear out some of the, the standard stuff that gets put in at the start that we don't need. So the first thing to do is go to the posts menu here and you'll see there is already a post on your blog saying hello world. We don't want that one, so we're just gonna click on trash and get rid of it. Simple as that. Okay, so that's gone. That's in the trash. We can empty the trash later. Don't worry about that for the moment. Post categories. We do want to have a look at this because the default category that's been set up is called uncategorized, not particularly useful. So click on edit, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this to our main keyword. Now, in this case, I'm gonna use home alarm if I can type properly systems okay and I'm going to copy that and put it in the description and in the slug I'm going to put it in there as well it will actually change this to put hyphens in there for me as well so just copy it into all three click on update and we'll now have a better category name okay you see that's changed the slug for me automatically okay very simple to do, but very important because we've now got our keywords in our categories. If you want an extra category, it's very easy to do. Again, decide what extra categories, extra keywords you're gonna go after. Uh, I think the next one I'm gonna go for is wireless alarm systems. Now you don't need too many of these, just uh, two or three will do usually. Wireless alarm system. And again, I'm just gonna copy that into the three other boxes there. Click on add new category. And again, we're done. We now have two categories, uh, wireless alarm systems and a default, which is home alarm systems. Very easy, okay. Media, you don't need to worry about. Links, we do want to have a play with because at the moment, we've got some links that are going to other places that we really don't need appearing on our blog. Um, so all, all I'm gonna do is tick the box at the top here, which ticks them all for me. And under bulk actions, I'm going to go with delete and apply. And that will just delete all those blog roll links. Okay, nice and easy to do again. We also want to change the link categories. At the moment, the link category is called blog roll. But let's change it to something more friendly. I'm going to put in resources. It could be resources. It could be useful stuff, useful links, useful sites, something like that that's nice and friendly and easy for people to click on because we may well link out there to uh, other sites of our own in the same niche or related niches or even affiliate programs from there as well, okay? So just change that to something more friendly, click on update, and again, that should be it done. Okay, let's minimize that. Pages, again, WordPress has automatically put a page in for us as a sample page, which we don't need. So all we're gonna do is choose to put that in the trash. We will have some pages. We will be setting up things like uh, privacy, about us, contact, things like this, but we'll be doing that later on and we'll be doing that with the help of a plugin to make life easier. So we just click on trash and once it finishes updating, I'll pause while it Okay, for some reason that took a moment or two to do, uh, but we've now got no pages. We'll come back to that in a later video. Comments, there is a default one that goes in, but it goes on to the, pay, or the post that we've already deleted, so it's already been deleted as well, so you don't have to worry about that. Appearance, we will look at more when we choose a theme, uh, because once we've chosen a theme, we will want to have a play around with it, change the widgets and the menus, possibly put in a header, 
and maybe edit some of the uh, pages, some of the bits of the page as well. But for the moment, we'll cover that in a different video, so don't worry about it. Plugins, there are a couple that go in as default. So Akismet, very important one. I'll cover that in a video as well. Hello Dolly, really irrelevant, don't need that there. Uh, these two, Jetpack I've not used before, but I'm going to have a look at that and do a video about it because it looks like it could be useful. WP Supercache, you may not have that installed. It depends on whether you're using HostGator or whether the host you use does install it as a default. HostGator do. Basically, it speeds up the performance of your blog, so it can be very useful. So again, we'll come back and look at that in a later video. The plugins video, it will probably be several videos for plugins because there is a whole list of plugins that I want to cover. Some are essential, some are useful, and some are just fun. So I'll do several videos on the plugins. Users, don't worry about that for the moment. Tools, likewise, I don't think there's anything in there that we need to worry about at the moment. Nope. Settings, we do need to have a look at. Settings is important. Okay, so the settings page. First of all, on general, we want to put something in our tagline because just another WordPress site isn't useful. Okay, we've got our main keywords in the site title. So what I'm going to do here is repeat some of those. I'm going to take the home alarm system. I'm actually going to put something on the front. I'm going to say DIY and wireless because that's one of our secondary keywords. Home alarm systems reviews because that's another one of our keywords. So it's just, again, putting some keywords in there, um, but making sure it's, it is descriptive in some way as well. The rest of the bits here we don't really need to worry about. Do make sure that you've got your address, email address in there. Uh, that's it for that, so click on Save Changes. And then we need to go across to the Writing page. And here, one of the main things I do here is the box that you get for writing in can be quite small, so I tend to uh, make that a bit bigger, change it up to 30. Uh, the default post category, because we actually edited that, that's already showing up correctly, but you can change it if you wanted to do to something different. Uh, the rest of these we really don't need to worry about at the moment. The ping list, I do have a ping list, uh, expanded ping list, which I'll give you to put in there as well. But again, we'll cover that in a different video. So just click on Save Changes to update there. And basically, we've now got a bigger uh, area to type in our post when we're doing posts. Reading, let's go and have a look in there. Now this is something you can leave alone if you want to, but I tend to change the number of default posts shown on the main page, just so it's not the standard of 10. I either go for 9, 11, 12, something like that. Okay, so I'm going to change it to 12, click on Save Changes, and next we're going to go on to Discussion. Okay, on the discussion page, most of the things you need should be ticked uh, correctly anyway. Uh, for instance, the automatically code closed comments on articles older than, I wouldn't have that ticked. Uh, users must be registered, in, uh, registered and logged in to comment. That sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. doesn't seem to make a big difference to how much spam you get, um, but I work on the basis that generally why not, because people are going to have to leave their details then. Uh, the important ones are down here. Email me whenever anyone leaves a comment or a comment is held for moderation. And the most important one that you do want to tick is an administrator must always approve the comment. You will get people putting comments onto your blog just to get the backlink. Uh, it's a tactic that we all use, but to stop other people doing it on your blog, you can make sure this is ticked. Uh, only accept those that are good comments that add value to your blog post, okay? If someone just leaves a comment saying, hey, great post, and a link to their Viagra site, no, delete that comment, okay? I also tend to make sure this is actually one rather than two, and if we scroll on down, there's something else down here that we need to change. Rather than mystery men, tick on Gravatar logo. If you haven't got your own Gravatar, go to gravatar.com and get one set up. And it basically means that whenever you post on someone else's blog, post, post a comment, or when people post comments on your blog, if they've got a Gravatar logo, which is a picture of themselves, it will appear next to the post. And it's great for branding, okay? So make sure you choose that option and make sure you've got your own Gravatar logo set up at gravatar.com. So we click on Save Changes. And let's go on down. Media, we don't need to worry about. Privacy, 
we will check just to make sure it is the first option that's ticked. You never want this ticked because it means search engines aren't finding your blog and aren't looking at it. So just make sure that the first option there is ticked. Okay, that is, so I don't need to make any changes. And permalinks is the last one that we want to look at. Uh, the default tends to be really a bad one to use. Uh, for some reason, I've got this defaulting to date and name. That's been done automatically, fine. But what I actually want to do is change it so that I'm just using that. Front slash, uh, percentage mark, post name, percentage mark, front slash. Okay, that means that basically we're going to have a domain name and then the keywords, which we're going to use for the title of our post, as the URL for the posts, okay? That is the best way of doing it. So all you need to do is change it to that, click Save Changes, and it updates. WP Supercache we'll look at in a separate video. That is your WordPress settings done, okay? Run through those and you'll have your WordPress blog ready to start doing the other things such as the plugins and the themes and getting some posts done. Thanks very much for watching.